So will this also sort of, you know, help us view Mother Teresa in a very different it way? It will. It will bring out the hum human side of her, the real person, the real woman that she she was. It will definitely focus on that more than the laws and the religion and other aspects. It will focus on the under to a real insan I mean, uh, her image may be whatever could be questioned, but. It deals with the real person. There's a lot of positivity from the film. Yeah. We yes. feel that, you know, just by watching the trailer. Yes. How do you stay so positive in life? <laughs> you know, that that's the first vibe that just, you get. I vibe. think I just, yeah, I just keep, I think uh, I'm always looking ahead, looking up to doing something next. Mm. You know, whether it's a, it's writing a book, I mean, the book took me like five years. And we love it. You stand for grit and determination in a very different way. Yeah. Uh, which was that one female actress that completely changed the cinematic landscape for you? I mean, you've done that for so many women. Uh, I think in my, uh, in my grown up years, like when I was um, going to join films when I was starting out as an actor. Mm. I think it was Jaya Bachchan. Oh, Jaya Bachchan had said that for Sharmila Ji. He yes. said that, you know, I joined the industry yes. because of Sharmila No, Ji. earlier on when I was younger in school in my college, one of, you know, um, when I was in India before moving to America, I was very influenced by every actor. But later when I came to work, it was Jayadi. Jayadi. She she was strong, she was like a no-nonsense woman, she was real. There was pressures of, you know, you had to, this was, this was your only means of livelihood. And uh, you had to keep, you, you did so many films for the, you know, to keep your kitchen running and you pay your bills. At a time when war conflict and of course distress is making headlines, we get a film that would give our spirits a much needed divine boost. And today joining us is Dipti Naval who would speak to us about the film, Mother Teresa and me and of course you know her role in the film. It's always an honour to speak to you and what a beautiful movie you've uh, brought for all the viewers. And the release is very well timed yeah. because we see people divided in terms of faith. Do you think the, the the film will then sort of you know bridge a gap and also put out a strong message? Though though it's not uh, nothing religious has mm. been tackled in the film. It's not about that. It's about the human um, condition. Yes. You know, it's about how you uh, reach out to human suffering, what you feel, how you empathize, how mm. how compassionate you are, how it fills you with doubts at times, and uh, it's about the you know the the strength in pursuing something that you believe in uh, against all adversaries. So, uh, religion ko nahi, kai cheeze hai haan, kyunki wo, wo phir unki jab Mother Teresa's life uh, on the whole when it is uh, like uh, tackled as a biography as, then those issues will come up. But this deals with a different, I mean when you see the film you'll realize that it's uh, it's very sensitive uh, uh, film. It's it deals with inner conflict. Yeah, it deals with uh, you know trying to keep uh, your inner strength, trying to trying to stick to your to your beliefs and uh, how to uh, in today's time when everything is all about uh, self focused, hai na? To usme when when Mother Teresa comes as an example of never relenting from reaching out and helping uh, people who are less privileged. So will this also sort of, you know, help us view Mother Teresa in a very different it, way? It will. It will bring out the hu human mm. side of her, mm. the real person, the real woman mm. that she uh, she was. Mm. It will definitely focus on that more than the laws and the religion and other aspects. It will focus on the under to a real insan I mean, uh, her image may be whatever could be questioned, mm. but it deals with the real person. There's a lot of positivity from the film. Yeah. We yes. feel that, you know, just by watching the trailer. Yes. How do you stay so positive in life? 
<laughs> you know that that's the first vibe that you get. I vibe. think I just, yeah, I just keep. I think uh, I'm always looking ahead, looking up to doing something next. Mm. You know, whether it's a, it's writing a book. I mean, the book took me like five years. And we love uh, it. I want everyone to read the book. So I mean, you were so writing a book. No, I, you know, the book started, started the work started 20 years, years ago. Yes. I mean, the last five years, it was concentrated, just the book. So I'm saying, ke, you know, koi bhi ek cheez aap, you know, when you, when you decide mm -hmm. and you're pursuing it, you're pers pursuing that thing with all your heart. Mother Teresa's life, whole life is an example of that. We can do it in bits and pieces and we can focus for that much and then give it that much and then we, you know, but uh, she is such an example of yes. never giving up uh, her belief. You stand for grit and determination in a very different way. Yeah. Uh, which was that one female actress that completely changed the cinematic landscape for you? I mean, you've done that for so many women. Uh, I think in my, uh, my grown-up years, like when I was... Um, going to join films when I was starting out as an actor. Hmm. I think it was Jaya Bachchan. Oh, Jaya Bachchan ji had said that for Sharmila ji. Yes. He said that, you know, I joined the industry yes. because of Sharmila No, before. earlier on when I was younger yes. in yes. school and my college, one hmm. of, you know, um, <coughs> when I was in India before moving to America, hmm. I was very influenced by every actor. Okay. I loved Sadhna, I loved Asha Parikh, I loved hmm. Sharmila Tagore. Um, I mean, the, uh, Meena Kumar, starting with Meena Kumari, I, I idealized her. Mm. But later when I came mm. to work, it was Jayadi. Jayadi. She, she was strong. She was like a no-nonsense mm. woman. She was real. Mm. And she kind of, you know, uh, felt. It was very uh, palpable, you know. Her, her persona uh, was, and people say, you know, I don't know what your what people's uh, definition of smart is. I thought she was so smart. Wow. She wow. was so smart. Yes. That is one word, a adjective I've not been able to use for uh, other actresses so far, but she was really smart. And so are you. <laughs> you've inspired so many lives. You know, you, you've been one actress who's never been pigeonholed. Do you feel more free as an actor in this phase? I feel that if something inspires me, hmm. I will definitely be doing it. Hmm. Yeah, there's no, I mean, there's no need to keep working this. Earlier there was, there was pressures of, you know, you had to, this was, this was your only means of livelihood. And uh, you had to keep, you, you did so many films for the, you know, to keep your kitchen running yes. and you pay your bills and, yeah. uh, but since all those phases are over, one is like comfortable and I've never been a, in a, a, you know, had a very lavish life, lifestyle. So I'm, I'm very grounded that way. Um, I need to be inspired by a role. I need to take dying people off the streets. You have to give me a place for them. Now. Some people might not accept you. They might suspect you want to convert them. If you want to destroy this place, take me and kill me instead. Thank you for joining us today. You've come up with a very interesting film, Mother Teresa and Me. I think this film inspires people around the world yes. to again um, think about giving, to think about um, uh, living with compassion mm -hmm. and, um, and to believe that we can uh, change something in this world for the better. But will it also put forth an aspect that uh, many of us are not really aware of when it comes to the name Mother Teresa? Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, the, maybe the new approach is that most mm. people see Mother Teresa as an iconic character and have an idea about her that is in fact very far from a reality. And that's mm. what we show in this film, mm. is the real Mother Teresa, mm. based on a lot of letters that she wrote, uh, you know, to her confessor during a life where she, she writes that she has lost her face. Mm. And this letter have been published after her death, but very few people know about this. Yeah. She tried to pretend to everyone around her that it was different, and the whole world will, will have to think differently as well. Yeah. So that's, that's why it is a different take on Mother Teresa, but yet it's also a film that you know, showed the, 
the dark night of, 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 of Mother Teresa, but at the same time brings forward through the character of uh, Cavita a hope and an interest of why this story is important today, why a person who is mm. losing faith, who is in doubt, still continue to, to work for the poor, to continue uh, an action. And I think the young Cavita in her story is very inspired by this story yeah. to solve her own problem uh, when she comes to India. I'll come to you, Benita. In fact, I wanted to know what's that first memory of Mother Teresa that you have? I mean, we've heard the name so many times, but if you could just sort of, you know, uh, jog your memory and just give us an insight into the first memory that you have. I feel like it must have been a documentary when I was a child. I think she's just one of those people who you just, her image is so powerful. True. It's so iconic hmm. that even if you haven't taken the time to learn anything about her, you still know who she is and you still know what she stands for. Hmm. Um, just her, you know, sorry alone is so iconic. So um, I must have been when I was a child. It must have been like visuals or a documentary or just her imagery around hmm. the place. You play Mother Teresa and, you know, getting into the character, understanding the nuances, you know, must have been a journey in itself. How did it all begin and what was those interesting facets, you know, that you understood about Mother Teresa and did it also give, uh, let's say, a divine boost to your spirit? Of course, it was a huge journey and I incredibly loved this journey because, um, first of all, we did a lot of research. We had the opportunity to talk with many people who have really known her personally. And we read these letters, which made me so sad because mm. I realized for the first time how lonely she was. Mm. Um, she always had to be the role model. She couldn't talk to her sisters. Uh, uh, so it was really a wonderful journey. I learned uh, Bengali, I learned English with an Albanian accent. I uh, went in all these different angles of emotions and, and energies. Mm. And of course, it was also a journey um, because I realized that she gave everything. True. She gave everything and she was so exhausted and she needed so much strength and she had to take it, you know, I, know, I don't know where she mm. has taken it in the end, but um, it's so inspiring that she could stay with this uh, vision and this vocation. So I think that this was the aspect which helped me mm. to kind of stay in this journey and, mm. and do this work and believe in it, and um, which is inspiring, hopefully, for uh, a lot of people in the audience as well. Yes, and Bharata, how much have you contributing in helping her understand in, about Indian cinema? <laughs> you know, have unfortunately, you? Uh, yeah. because our, our narratives are just yes. opposed to each other, we actually never got the opportunity no. to shoot together. No, that's sad. There was one day in Mumbai when we were shooting, and mm. I think I was finishing for the day, and you would come for like a makeup test or something. And we just like, we literally walked past each other. We had mm. like a 10 minute conversation and had to both go off and work. Mm. So, but I will teach you now that you're here, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Thank you. A bit of Bengali that you would like to uh, speak for the viewers? I think it's, you know, I would like to invite people to just watch the movie because mm. um, it's just, uh, it's just a, a little part of the whole message and the whole story.